Hello everybody and welcome to Organion's Puzzle Box. In today's uh, short tutorial I would like to show you a fix on how to get your scenes out of the way when um, a painting in Substance Painter. Now basically when you have a model made like I've got here an organic one you don't have a lot of hard edges to work with and what I've done here basically is I've made a model which you know looks something like this and, and, and basically it's got the scenes running across you can see them over here that's a scene right there there's a seam around here, there's a seam around these legs and basically I've, you know, I've, I've added random seams everywhere so we could actually um, you know, sh show you how to fix some of them. Now this fix is not perfect and you will definitely see um, some issues with it regardless but it's still a lot better than you know, having seams be clearly visible. So right around here, around the legs, you can see the seam running across and I've added this human skin um, uh, to the model, which obviously looks quite bad <laughs> on this, but I'm just going to change the color a little bit, make it a bit of an orangey color, and I'll take the height information out of it. Now, with the height taken, you already see that the, the seam is no longer such a big issue, just because the height uh, information in a texture is what causes most of these um, you know, errors um, right here. Right, so now that we've got that set up with the height on, we're going to add a new layer on top of it and then we want to change all the blending mode for all of these um, uh, sets here to pass through. So base color, um, height and roughness as well, uh, metallic, pass through and then normal. We don't have any, any opacity or any emissive active or actually we might have emissive active so I'm just going to put that to pass through as well. And you can already see that the layer has now taken the color of this layer beneath it. And what that means is you're going to paint with the information from this, wherever you, you want to paint. But you obviously need to use not a, not a brush over here. You want to use the clone stamp. So with the clone stamp selected from, uh, from our tool brush, I'm just going to press V on the keyboard, you know, keep it pressed. Or I think, you need, yeah, you need to keep it pressed. And then if you press anywhere on the mesh, you'll see that it basically creates this square around there. And what this means is, when you're going to paint over here, it will actually take the information from where your square was set up, and it will basically uh, start painting it in that area. And you can see how I'm basically eliminating the seam around this area over here. Now, you, you've got to tweak with this quite a little bit in order to get the, you know, the proper result the way you want it. But you can clearly see that now the seam is gone. And it will never be gone entirely. And the more you paint, you may get different results, and then the error may come back again. Not sorry, not the error, but more like the uh, the visible the visibility of the seam will come back in. So you want to really play around with these settings. Um, or sorry, with these with this brush and with where you want to clone from and hopefully you'll be able to make um, you know quite good work out of a bad situation where as I said you have a, a seam running across where you don't need it and the reason why this works like this in Substance Painter is because we're actually uh, applying texture so you're basically telling Substance to uh, take the size of this brush uh, worth of information from one area and copy into another and it will basically not care that it's a seam over there. It will still do its very best to match up the, um, uh, as I said, the brush stamp that you're adding. So that's how, how this, this is how uh, this whole process works. And you can apply this to your whole model and basically get rid of all the seams. And um, as I said, it works wonderful, wonderful for uh, meshes that are organic uh, rather than hard surfaces where they have a lot of these edges, hard edges that you can, you can create seams on. So I hope you guys uh, found this uh, short tutorial useful. Uh, please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you'd like to. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and thank you.